All right. How much time before major news you avoid trade? I would say one hour before news. I avoid trading. Yeah, because um, I I enter trade before the news, and I want I may not be able to run you know any profits. Then I may have to exit before the news, whether it's a win or loss, and it may be not be time efficient to you know keep holding my trades. So I prefer to mm, I would say uh, avoid trading one hour before news, and after news. It depends on when the market settles down. Sometimes the market settles down and find new direction uh, uh, 30 minutes after news. But sometimes the market continues to consolidate for a couple of hours after big news. So in terms of you know trading after news, it depends on the market situation. But before big news, I avoid one hour usually. You know, you may be able to enter trade before news and fix some profit. You know, uh, before news, maybe you know you may be able to fix 10 pips or 20 pips of profit. And if you are aiming for these smaller pips, then I think you can still trade. But make sure you exit and take pro take profit before the big news, because these big news, fundamental big news, can violate. Any kind of technical confirmations. So sometimes in one single candlestick, it breaks a Kumo or Kijun Sen, and you may be able to see it already. But you know, one single big news can change the whole market direction. So um, that's what I think about the news, and I do not want to trade because it's almost like becoming gambling. So if you again, if you want to take 10 pips, 20 pips. Before news, I think you can still take trade um, before news, but uh, it may be tricky. And also, one more thing is that um, let's say one hour before news, the market tends to be very quiet because the markets are also, you know, the participants on these forex markets are also, you know, waiting and preparing and, you know, monitoring. See what's happening, what will be happening at the news. So they also know that uh, you know this big news can you know spike and uh, uh, make the market very tricky. So that's why usually the market tends to be very quiet before news. So even if you trade before news, you may not be able to make any profits. Then you may have to monitor for one hour or so, then close with very small or very you know, a very small profits or loss, or maybe break even. So for me, I value time efficiency than number of trades. So if I do not uh, expect the potential pips, buy or sell and hold until break even and trial profits, if I cannot do it, then I don't want to trade. So before before big news is one of the timings when I don't enter trades, and also uh, towards the end of the day, or uh, towards the end of New York, for example, or uh, before the weekend, you know, uh, on Friday night before the weekend, I also do not take entries because of the same reason. Next day or next Monday, the market may be volatile, and we may see some gaps between the candles. And because the blockers are all closed, you cannot execute, you cannot exit your trace. You can modify your trace. So I think it's a risk uh, not being able to touch your positions, manage your positions. So I do not take entries with the same reason. And also it's not really time efficient. So yeah, once I enter trade, I monitor until I set break even and then I leave chart is my style. And once I set break even, I leave chart for a couple of hours. So that has been my trading style. And I do not monitor chart every single hour or every single minute. I never check charts. So because I value time efficiency, I try to reduce my screening chart time 
and I try to re reduce the monitoring time on my positions, but expect similar or you know even bigger reward than scalping strategy. So that's why um, I do not want to trade when it's not time efficient. And that is my style. You know, everybody has different styles. So you may be more excited in scalping than I think that will be good for you. But I tried scalping when I was a newbie and I took 30 trades, 20, 30 trades per day and uh, I continued to lose. So I spent so much time every day to scan charts, entries and exits almost all day long, you know, 10 hours or so every day. But I kept losing per monthly basis and I got so tired and I got so discouraged. And that's why I don't prefer to um, do scalping for myself. And when I switch myself, my strategy from scalping to swing trade, then I start to find, you know, better performance. So I figure myself that my day to swing style and trend follow strategy suits my personality, down scalping. And that's why I started to use Ichimoku and capture the trending markets and look for entry opportunities. If not, I stay away, becoming style. But still, I expect some profits every month. And in yearly basis, I have 10% return per month in average. So I reduce the time to screen charts, reduce the number of trades, but I still make profits throughout the year. So that's my style. So coming back to this topic, if it's not time efficient, meaning if I cannot keep holding my trades for the next couple of hours, then I do not tra take trades. And in this reason, I do not take entries before news. I hope that makes sense to you. I hope you become a non-losing trader. In Ichimoku community, I share the original knowledge of Ichimoku. In KTS Academy, I share my original strategy including risk and psychology management. In GTS, I mentor your trades and follow up one on one closely for the three months. Take a survey to find out which course suits you the best. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you liked it, please press like button and please subscribe. And until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you very much.